Hey everybody, Judah Hoover here coming to you. Um, I am in Reading, a uh, great neighborhood uh, in Reading, a uh, D quality neighborhood with a whole lot of potential. It is uh, in downtown Reading on Front Street. Uh, I'm liking, I don't know if you can see because of the sun, uh, some of these uh, buildings behind me here that uh, people are painting, people are taking care of, not a whole lot of board ups uh, on the block. There's a whole lot of redevelopment going on in Reading right now. There's a whole lot of people building stuff and that's one of the things that I look for. Uh, my friend Wesley just inherited this property from his grandfather. We're going to walk it. It's in kind of a little bit of rough shape and we are going to talk about uh, what I would do, what I wouldn't do uh, as I rehab it and uh, go from there. So uh, smash that like button, uh, share this video with some other people. This is Judah Hoover with the Landlords and Investors Mastermind Group and let's go walk a property together. All right, so here we go. Um, Unfortunately, Wesley's grandfather just uh, recently passed away, left in this property. And one of the things that we're first going to have to look at and talk about is all the stuff in this property that you just have to look past and not paying attention to. There's a fair amount of stuff in this home. Let's talk about this kitchen. Um, so I think that it's funny. Uh, Wall-mounted cabinets like this, you can usually get uh, and get installed for about $150 to $175 a piece. Uh, Bottom-mounted uh, bases like that are usually around $250. So $150 for the top, $250 for the bottom. I just add those two together and I count doors and multiply uh, by $200. Uh, I count 10 doors there which gives me $1,000 in kitchen countertops. I think that I can get a refrigerator and a stove combined for, I don't know, 1500 bucks. So 2,000 in countertops, or 2,000 in cabinets, plus 2,000 in appliance, or 1,500 in appliances, brings me up to 3,500. I think that that stove that um, stove tells me that we've got uh, gas that we're going to see downstairs. Three hundred to four hundred for a sink. Another two to three hundred for a countertop. Brings me up to about forty five hundred dollars. So let's say this countertop and sink is a thousand dollars. Let's say the Stove and refrigerator is fifteen hundred dollars. Let's say it's two grand for all those cabinets. Brings you up to forty five hundred. I'm gonna to want to put a light in here. I'm maybe gonna to want to do something else. Let's call that five grand for this kitchen. When we come out here, this is a little bit of an interesting situation. So this like back mudroom or whatever has a commode in it and a washer and dry well washer anyway i don't know where the dryer is i guess that's the dryer all right so i would move the washer dryer into the basement oh there's judah hey judah how are you i'm doing all right thanks for asking uh, i would move the washer and dryer into the basement i would put a wall i don't know if you can see but like i would put a wall right here kind of from the side of that jam to the side of that jam i would throw a wall in there put a door right here facing this sink. I would put a new vanity there, medicine cabinet. I think you could put a wall in and redo this for three grand. So five grand for the kitchen, three grand for this vanity or for that powder room. Let's go to the basement and see what we see downstairs in the basement. All right. basement lots of junk in this place just pencil down a thousand bucks for junk removal and removing all the trash that's here in this place i can see this better than you can but don't worry about it all right well there's our gas meter that's great um boiler system oil pump oil line 
six grand. Five grand for the kitchen, thousand dollars for junk removal, six grand for HVAC. That's what it's going to cost you to convert to a natural gas system. Now, here's the shame of this. This right here is a brand new hundred amp service with a new ground and new paddle box and everything like that. I think you should spend the $1,200 to $1,500 to upgrade that to a 200 amp service to make everything make sense with the AC. So six grand for HVAC, 1500 for the paddle box, 5,000 in the kitchen, Three grand for that back powder room. Thousand dollars for junk removal. Main living area. Let's go upstairs and take a look at what we see upstairs. We walk through a bedroom to get to a bathroom. And this is not. When you strip away all the junk and you remove all the stuff from this place, this is a three grand bathroom. For three grand, you can get a shower, a vanity, new, count, new, new medicine cabinet, and a commode. I think that you use a number like four grand for paint and another number like four grand for flooring for this whole house. So, if you're super aggressive and ambitious, maybe you can get that done for as little as two and two. I don't trust that anybody else has the ability to do those numbers. So that's bedroom number two that we just saw there. This is bedroom number three. Again, I'm not seeing any problems. Third floor. There was some issues up here. The grandson told me that this place is free and clear and they just spent some money on replacing the roof. So we're okay there. There's some remnants of leaking and stuff like that. The upstairs third floor walkthrough is pretty common in this type of product. Again, lots of trash that needs removed. I think for a thousand bucks, you can get it junked out. Now, I ran through the numbers real quick with Wesley, who's the owner here, and I just wanted to go through those with you guys quickly so that you can see. I think you can get this rehab done for thirty for twenty four hundred dollars, twenty four thousand dollars, twenty four thousand dollars. Round it up, call it thirty grand for the rehab. Your payment on that is going to be. $500 for a 15 year mortgage, even with taxes and insurance and everything like that included, you rent this thing out for $900 and it's just a great cash flowing property for you. Hopefully this time we don't get any phone calls as we're shooting. Uh, so this is Wesley. This is uh, Wesley's property right here. Uh, he and his family got it. Uh, unfortunately, when a, when a grandfather passed away, but they've decided to hold on to the property, do some modest rehab to the property, um, and then provide some great affordable housing here in the area and provide people with a great place to live. So let's run through these numbers here real quickly, Wesley. Uh, you, you, you and I went through them. Uh, and I think that this is an important thing to be able to do is walk a property in 10 to 15 minutes, come up with rough numbers. Is it a deal? Isn't it a deal? And go from there. So uh, let's see. We figured five grand for the kitchen, right? Yep, that was right. We figured uh, four grand for paint and four grand for carpet. Yep. Uh, same contractor is probably going to do both of those uh, things for you, the paint and the carpet. Uh, or maybe you do some other type of flooring and maybe instead of eight grand, it ends up being nine. But uh, you know, maybe you don't do as much trim work with the paint and, uh, you know, instead of doing a three 
color paint scheme, you just do a two color paint scheme, and that knocks the paint number from four down to 2,500 to three grand. You understand what I'm saying? There's, yeah, there's options there. So I think eight is a good middle of the road number for paint there. So five grand in the kitchen, five grand uh, for, it should be five grand for the, in the kitchen, eight grand for paint and carpet, yep. three grand for that back area, uh, that, that powder room area. Uh, the roof is done, so we're in good shape there. When we move into the basement, we have that electrical system, and that was going to be twelve hundred to fifteen hundred bucks to yep. upgrade that from a one hundred amp to a two hundred amp system. And then we also talked about doing the um, doing the HVAC. Uh, I think that you can buy a new furnace for uh, twenty five hundred bucks. I think that you can buy a uh, compressor for outside for fifteen hundred bucks. And then, uh, so those two together is what? That's a four grand. Yep. I think that you're looking at two grand to run your duct work and uh, remove your other systems. That's why I'm saying six grand for electrical. Um, what am I missing? That's it. Yeah, that's really it. I mean, so a thousand to get rid of the trash. Thousand to get rid of the trash. So I mean, if you do that kind of stuff, you're gonna have a great place here. I think it's gonna rent for. Worst case scenario, eight hundred bucks, maybe nine nine fifty. Um, I think that your payments going to, on it all in is going to be less than, uh, well, right around uh, five hundred dollars a month, depending on the type of loan you put into place. Your tenants are going to pay water, sewer, trash. You're going to have air conditioning, so you're going to get a higher quality tenant faster. That's going to stay longer. Uh, we looked at the architectural detail in this block. You know, there's not a lot of board ups. There's not a lot of junk. Uh, you know, this is a, a C or a D quality neighborhood, and I think it looks really good it's not an F quality neighborhood I think that what they're doing in Reading is, is looking really great and I gotta tell you man you're gonna have a great uh, project here I, I'm, I'm really excited to uh, work with you on it I'm excited too hey this is Judah Hoover with the landlords and investors mastermind group uh, check back for more real estate investing information give me a like give me a subscribe and uh, smash that share button